everybody, it is Saturday. That means it's time to imagine it. And with Easter just around the corner, I'm sure that you might be picking up some eggs and thinking about coloring them. Hey, Carl. Hello. Exactly. Vinegar and eggs. You can do an amazing experiment at home vinegar. using just vinegar okay. and eggs. All right. Okay. And you probably have it at home as well if you're getting ready to color eggs. Perfect. So this is something that people can do at home today, Absolutely. this experiment. All right, and listen up. Not only can do, but you should do because it is just so cool. Okay, right? awesome. So you put an egg in a cup. Here's your vinegar. Egg in a cup. Go Check. ahead and fill it up. All the way? Yep. Just fill it up. Cover the egg completely. Egg is covered completely. Perfect. Now, we're going to let that sit for about two days. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, well, we don't have that kind of we, time. I know, I know, I know. That's unprepared for that. Okay. I've got TV magic right here. But what you're going to notice over time is little bubbles start to form on the egg. Okay. The acetic acid in the vinegar will start dissolving the calcium shell. Really? Now, you might think if that dissolves the shell, the whole egg is going to fall apart. Yeah. But actually what happens is there are two membranes on the inside of the shell. Here, take that. Okay. That's what Ooh. we call a naked, naked egg. egg. It's a okay. naked egg because it has no shell. It's soft. If you've ever hard boiled an egg, yes. you know those like those I was membranes just on the inside? Say, the little thing that sometimes you peel away. Yeah. That double membrane is actually holding the egg together. And you might even be able it's to see the yolk inside. It's a stronger than I would think. I mean, I don't want to give it a tough squeeze here. Well, but... you know, you can actually, you know, you can bounce them gently, really? okay. gently, you know. That's kind of a fun oh, thing to do. that's kind of fun. Okay. It's got some, some good uh, rubbery. So uh, that's a neat science experiment in and in it of itself. I don't think that yeah. the little ones would know this happens. No, and notice this. The egg we started with mm -hmm. and the, the naked egg. The naked egg is actually bigger than the original egg. Hmm. Why right? is that? All right, so this membrane is semi-permeable. It'll allow water to go in, okay. but the proteins and stuff inside the egg can't come out. Unless I smash it, right? Unless you smash sure. it. Okay. So what happens is the vinegar is about 100% water. Mm -hmm. That water moves into the egg and it swells up. Huh. Okay. So that could be the basis of a really cool science fair project because that swelling happens over the over the course of like a day or so. And you know what's really cool too? I'm noticing in the light here. If you swirl it around, you can actually still see the uncooked egg yeah, moving this is, around. This is uncooked. Very cool. It's a raw okay. Egg. Now, and what's interesting about this, I forgot to mention, this is what the egg will look like after about a day. Oh, see so how you it's, still see part of. You the, still got part of the shell. Yeah, absolutely. It's rough. It feels like sandpaper. And you can actually kind of rub that off. Look, you can kind of scrub some of it off. Okay. It helps speed the process along. Cool. Now, now, once you have your naked egg, what do you what do you do with it? You could bounce it. You could do things like that. Sure, outside. Preferably. Or yeah, mm -hmm. in a friend's house. Or you could put it in a container of corn syrup. Oh boy, which so, a lot of you have, especially if you like baking. Ew. Yeah. So okay. we've done the reverse. Instead of swelling the egg, we've actually pulled moisture out. The corn syrup is about 25% water. Okay. The egg now is around 90% water. Mm -hmm. If you put it in the corn syrup, it'll actually shrivel up. And is that a two-day process as well, this or takes, is this, this after takes about this? a day? I did okay. this yesterday. It takes about a day for this to happen. But the cool thing is, you can put this back in water. And, and it'll, it'll swell back up again. Wow, so there's so many cool. cool things you could do. Basically, an egg is a tire. Kind of. <laughs> it, 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 that, it, that's cool, yeah. Okay. Now, another thing you could do, since you mentioned coloring eggs, yeah. you can color your naked egg. Okay, so we have a whole bowl of naked eggs. Right. And what I did was I put one naked egg in this. This is like a lifetime supply of red food coloring. Right, sure, egg. every parent's dream. Yeah. So, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this out. Okay. And Whoa. you can see it is very, very that is red. It's like a vampire egg. It's like a vampire egg. The mm -hmm. question, though, is, is the liquid inside red, or is it still clear? Ooh, well, OK, but you said that it was semi-permeable. Exactly, but the way to check. I think this might be a trick question. you got to do the experiment. OK. Uh, this is messy. I'm going to do this so okay. you don't get it. Should I step back? I'm so going to just poke it, and we'll let the liquid come out. No way. So the liquid is red. The yolk is, is still bright yellow. Yeah. So well, can you see that? You know the yolk has a membrane as well. Okay, so it's almost so double protection there? Yeah, what's wow. Going, what's going on? I'm going to leave that for you to figure out. Why doesn't the yolk turn bright red? I don't know. You stumped me. I, I don't know. I don't know either. That is very cool. Try, try an experiment. See if you can actually get the yolk to be so colored. So how long should you have the naked egg in the food coloring? Oh, it all depends on what you want to do. I, I put this in about an hour ago. Okay. All right. So, so this is a project then that you could do with the kids over the course of a few absolutely. days leading up to Easter. Absolutely. It's very amazing. cool. Maybe a spring break ah, project. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Wow, very yeah. cool. The science behind eggs. I did not have any idea that this was going to happen. Yeah, very cool. Just, they, they're so satisfying because they just bounce. Well, there you go. Guess and what? Pop. And they pop. <laughs> well, that is this week's Imagine It. Carl, thanks so much for joining us. It's Saturday. Remember, if you have a child who's under the age of 12 and you live in Lucas County, they get in free with a paid adult.